I just want to thank you so much for meeting with me. Um, I love doing these case studies. It's honestly like my favorite part about what I do, just getting to um, meet with my students and kind of hear like your transformation, your journey and use it um, to inspire other nurses who may be feeling really discouraged because they've taken their NCLEX before um, and they failed and they're just feeling like they want to give up. And um, I know so many of my students have been there. So hearing stories like yours is really encouraging to them. So um, I always mm -hmm. appreciate when you guys take the time out to meet with me. But um, so we'll just jump right into it. So the first question I had for you was just tell me a little bit about your nursing journey. Um, when did it begin and really what made you want to go into nursing? Well, it was, um, let's see, 2000 and um, I say 2003, I went to school to be a medical assistant. Okay. And that was the first thing that pulled me into it. And um, that's where I noticed where I wasn't afraid of, you know, like blood or uh, none of that. And it just came like a, a, a second nature, you know, awesome. and that's where it started. And then I became a CNA. And the only reason I did CNA is because <laughs> I moved to Alabama and it was in a rural area. And so it wasn't that many doctor's offices. So everybody like, you know, well, maybe you could do this. And so I did. And I went and I went, I took a two week class and I can honestly say I slept through the whole two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> But I took I took the test and I passed with flying colors because I was a medical assistant and I wanted them to really teach me how to take care of an older person and how to, you know, I guess change diapers or whatever, you know. So I didn't know that. Yeah. And so that was I did that for a while. And then my actual nursing journey of school. I have literally probably been going to school for 10 years. Oh, wow. To be a nurse. And I have one from RN. I got into um LPN program. I got sick um, with fibromyalgia. I didn't know why my body was hurting. And oh, so wow. that kind of, yeah. So that kind of what made me, um, I couldn't really function just say yeah. that uh, and and it took me away from school and so time went by and I went back to school for LPN I say like maybe five years went by five six years on there and I went back for it finished this and so it took me three times with the NCLEX though but I passed it that's right. So you passed your um your LPN NCLEX, your NCLEX PN. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. so that's so cool. I was actually a CNA myself too before I was a nurse. So that like evolution, like you said, healthcare just kind of sucks you in. Like once you start in one position, it's like if it's meant for you, mm -hmm. like you know, and then you just kind of gradually work your way up. Mm -hmm. So um, but that is difficult yes. to like, you know, you being a CNA and having a little bit of healthcare knowledge, going through nursing school, then being diagnosed with a chronic illness like that. I mean, it's so difficult to be on the under the other end of it as the patient. But I think it makes you a better nurse. It makes you kind of appreciate what our patients go through and it helps you yeah. care for them better. So um, awesome. Well, so the next question I have for you is, um, how did you feel about going into your NCLEX the first time? So did you feel confident or were you feeling like you were going to fail the first time? The first time I kind of felt like I wasn't going to pass. I, I think I overstudied. Mm -hmm. I literally overstudied. And that was that was before I even got your program when I took it the first time. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew I, I had a feeling I was going to fail because I was so nervous. And like yeah. I said, I think I just overstudied everything. 
Yeah, I know. And people don't realize that, that, that is a thing. I mean, our brains can only hold so much information. So, um, and I, I think it's my test anxiety or my study, my one study lesson in the introduction section, I talk about, you know, setting break times and only studying for up to 60 minutes at a time, um, because mm -hmm. your brain can only hold so much information and it is possible to try to cram too much information into your brain. And then it just kind of causes it to like fly out the window. And that test, oh that test anxiety also is just such a huge barrier because the information is like stored deep in there. But if you have all this anxiety and all these racing thoughts in your head, you're not going to be able to focus on anything but the anxiety. So controlling that test anxiety is definitely um, important, uh, especially, you know, sitting for your NCLEX. So um, but that's not uncommon. I mean, most of my students, you know, they go in and they don't feel confident. And one of the um, goals of, of my program is to make sure my students feel confident going in to take their NCLEX. And like I said, having those strategies to combat some of that test anxiety too. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we talked about this a little bit. So you've taken the NCLEX three times. It took you three times to pass. You passed okay. on the third time. So tell me about um, just in general, like you don't have to name specific resources, but tell me about your experience with other um, NCLEX resources. Um, let me see, I did, before, before I paid for yours, I um and I I I I I just tell it like yeah. okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so <laughs> like you say if you overstudying it's not gonna help you mm -hmm. you know and um let's see the second time now let's just get into the second time that I took the NCLEX that was a bummer I think I should have got my money <laughs> because I literally. And then I, I even, I'm so happy that you do not take away the, um, the program if you don't pass or whatever, because the second time I still didn't, you know, go yeah. with your program. Mm -hmm. It took me the third time. And the third time I, um, when I, I was doing it, I, I, I paid more attention to what you were saying. So. But the second time where I said I should have got my money back, I stayed up all night studying the night before. And I had an eight o'clock test and I was so sleepy the next day. That's why I failed the second time. I know. And I say in my lesson, <laughs> don't do that. I say the day before yeah. the test, do not study. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Um, and I know like you worked really hard. You were definitely one of the students that stick in my mind. I mean, you were, you reach out to me if you, you know, had any questions you needed clarification on, you weren't afraid to say, Hey, look, can you explain this? I don't understand. Um, so, you know, I'm so appreciative of my students that use me as support because um, again, with my program, I don't want to just be a name and a program. I want to actually interact with my students and help and support them, which is a little different than a lot of those other programs out there. So I'm so mm -hmm. happy that you decided to stick with it and keep grinding and keep working. And, you know, in the end, it paid off. And, um, you know, you took your, your NCLEX PN and my program, um, it can be tailored to both. It can be for NCLEX PN and NCLEX RN. So I think that that is encouraging too, um, that other nurses, you know, know that this program can be used for both RN and, um, and PN. So, mm -hmm, right. but yeah, I, I never want to take away the access. Um, I'm a firm believer that if you don't have success with my program the first time, just like you did stick with it and get back to mm -hmm. it and study harder. Um, and I won't charge you anything extra for that. I'm a firm believer in, I want you guys to succeed. That's the whole reason why I built this program. It was for you guys and it was to help you succeed. So if I charged you more to stay in the program, I mean, that would be doing a disservice to you guys. So um, I'm so glad that you took advantage of that and you really committed to it a second time and you were able yeah. to pass. So, and how did you feel like when you did pass, like when you saw that? Oh, oh <laughs> those, I knew. I knew I passed that last time. You did? And it cut off, yes. It cut off at 86. Just like you, you swinging around in the chair, right? Mm -hmm. I was at the test. I mean, I was at the computer and I was just swinging around in the chair and I was just so confident about it with each question. 
And it was like, I, I either seen it before, studied it before, and it was just going, going, going. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God, this cannot be real. <laughs> but I have heard other people say that. Like these answers, I mean, these questions, this can't be real. But as I was going, I'm like, oh my God, this is this is um just amazing. Because I'm so awesome. I know I was passing the test. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, I love yeah. to hear that. That is so great. Yeah. And the thing is, like the NCLEX, I mean, it's different every time. Like the questions are always different, mm-hmm. the types of questions that you get are different. Um, I had a student tell me the other week, she passed also and she said, you wouldn't believe it. I studied your calculations lesson so hard. I looked at all the PDFs. I didn't get not one single calculation question on my- I didn't either. I did not. <laughs> the ones that I failed of, um, the first and the second time, I got math questions. My last one, no math questions. I know. That's the hard thing. Like You just never know. And I try to cover as much as possible in my course, mm-hmm. but there's just so much information. And that's what's so hard about it. Like you just have to know like, like the basic concepts about everything. And it's sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. You just don't know what you're going to get. So that's why I try to make it as detailed as possible and include like as much information as I could. So, um, and then the last question is what advice would you give to other aspiring nurses who may be feeling discouraged? Maybe they, you know, were in your shoes and, and they're struggling to pass their NCLEX. What advice would you give them? just don't give up mm-hmm. like, don't give up and another thing I feel like what kind of hindered me was I was going to school during the pandemic mm-hmm. like we was two months into school and the pandemic hit and we had no um, clinical skills at all those clinical skills are very important so what I did I also went and got me a job as a graduate nurse and I was shadowing with a nurse Mm -hmm. but I mean that was just the luck of a draw I'm telling you (laughs) that I got that job because they said they usually don't even hire graduate nurses and so it did it helped me a lot as well too that's right like having that like hands-on like practical knowledge I mean it's different when you're studying and you know you're um, listening to my videos or you're reading the slides but actually like applying it to real life is definitely really, um, it, it's really helpful. And I know my heart goes out to all these students right now in the pandemic and having to try to learn um, remotely. I mean, I can't even imagine it. It's, you know, it's so difficult. And that's part of the reason why I have a university community also, which I know that you're in the community, the university community as well. Yeah. Um, so I built that, you know, with part of the pandemic in mind that, um, you know, things are going more virtual and to have that support, supportive community online um, is really beneficial. But um, yeah, that is so awesome. So what field are you going into or what field are you working in? Well, right now I'm in geriatrics. I'm Very still high. at the same place where I was the graduate nurse. I just moved up to the LP. And I- <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm so yeah. excited for you. I'm so, so happy. You're, you're- but I will still need your program though, because I'm not stopping at LPM. Yeah, you're gonna keep going. That's awesome. Yeah, yes. you you can definitely keep my program until you go through to your RN. So no, okay. um, that's that is so awesome. I mean, you really are like climbing up the ladder and just you know <laughs> from medical assistant up to RN. I mean, this the sky is it's limitless where you can go. Yes. So yes. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. Thank you. Well, I am always here if you need anything, and I'm sure I'll be hearing from you um, because you're going to be going for your RN. So definitely keep me posted on that, you know, when you start that and kind of your journey um, uh, through your RN school. And I'm always here as a resource if you would ever need anything. So, um, but but again, I appreciate your time so much and um, thank you for meeting with me. No problem. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.